Welcome back to Suburban Gardening. I am Amanda in Zone 8A in the Dallas, Texas suburbs, and today I'm going to show you what's growing in my garden. So the biggest change since last week was that the garden enclosure from this old garden bed has been removed, and the corn can now grow freely. Unfortunately, when we're removing the enclosure, a lot of the corn has snapped, so I don't know if this corn is still viable or not. We will see what happens. Optimistic that I'm going to get at least some corn from this. I did see over here, so this is the, the one of the plants that had snapped, but you can see this corn cob over here. Um, and of course it's like dried out now because you know the plant has snapped and stuff, but I mean, that's, that's looking pretty good. So I'm optimistic that the actual corn cobs are gonna be full and tasting delicious. My flowers still struggling a little bit. And of course over here still struggling a little bit as well, but the begonias are doing really good. And the zinnias over here are also doing really well. And they're absolutely gorgeous. I love these zinnias, they're so pretty. I still have over here in the grow bags, a few potatoes that need still yet to be harvested. They're not quite ready, I don't think. The tomatillos are growing and doing well, and I'm just waiting for the husk to crack open. I think that's when they're ready to harvest, and I haven't had any yet. The Spanish peanuts, still struggling. I'm trying to decide what I want to do with these Spanish peanuts, if I just need to pull them out and just plant something else in here. I'm trying to figure that out. Um, the Spanish peanuts back here, though, if I lift up this potato plant that's been shading it, and see these peanuts have been growing and there's actually a bloom on there. I didn't know, I didn't know they, they bloomed. The tomatoes definitely have seen better days. If it weren't so hot, I would have already pulled out these tomato plants and to prepare for my fall tomato season, but it's been so hot. Um, maybe this weekend I'll get around to it. Maybe not, we'll see. The Blackberries, still lots of blossoms, but I haven't yet seen more blackberries. So we'll see what happens here. The cantaloupe over here is growing. So I think right here, I'm going to decide, I'm going to keep this cantaloupe plant and I am just gonna go ahead and pinch off this one. So we only have one in there. And this is the mystery vine. We don't know which one this is. So it will be a surprise. The watermelon plants, I do have a bloom on this one over here. So these, these two I transplanted. And so they're, they're coming along. The banana plants are doing okay. I can see that they probably need some more water. You can see how the leaves are folded like in half and that's probably meaning they're a little bit thirsty. So I probably need to give them some water over here. The basil's doing well, as well as my melons have lots of melons, still some I need to put in little hammocks. And we see I have lots of melons up here. There's uh, Kajaris and the Sharon Taste melons. Uh, I say I have an Arminian yard long over here, so I'm guessing my Arminian yard long has made it across here. And here's another Kajari. I need to get these in the hammocks because the Kajari will just fall off when it's ready. Arminian yard line. I still have a couple that are growing and I've seen you know plenty of blooms so I'm sure I'm going to get some more. I'm not sure if I should just leave this plant uh, through the fall and just let it produce or if I should pull it out and try something else. Let me know down in the comments what you think. My strawberries on the straw strawberry wall. I've definitely been seeing more blooms and I have some strawberries you can see up here. So I, I am getting some strawberries. These are kind of small. I'm not sure why they're so, so small. There's some over here as well. So I'm excited to see strawberries again. These of course are the ever bearing varieties that are blooming again. I haven't seen many blooms on the June bearing ones, which I'm not really expecting at this point. My strawberry watermelon, definitely growing. And over here, my strawberries and bunching onions are doing okay. My herbs in this green stock are doing 
pretty good. And my tomatillos, these have been looking a little bit light green to me and I'm not really sure why they're light green. And of course you can see like this one is um, the husk is brown, but I'm not, I don't know what's going on. Let me know if, if you know how I need to fix this. I did put some fertilizer, liquid fertilizer in the top when I watered um, to try to help this. So that's only been like two days ago. So I haven't had any success yet, but we'll see if, if these turn around. The apple tree is looking still a bit sad. I hope this bounces back. I really want the tree to live. And of course my tomatoes all looking sad and most of them will be pulled out very soon. Peppers, the big producer right now is this uh, Mamma Mia Rosso pepper. I have lots of those on this plant. The other ones, let's see my, so here's the habanada pepper down here. This is probably ready for me to harvest. Hasn't grown very much, so I'm curious to taste what that one tastes like. I have another right on red pepper that's green at the moment. The shishito pepper and the mini bell pepper still growing. I ended up pulling out my spaghetti squash because I had, you guessed it, squash vine borers again. So I just pulled it out. Uh, I left the dirt there. I might just use this for onions again when it comes time in the fall to plant onions. So I have still two potato bags over here as well as some peppers. This is a rainbow bell pepper plant and my early sensation pepper that was eaten down to the stub and came back, but it hasn't yet produced anything. And then my actual jalapeno pepper, which I do have one jalapeno that's looking about ready to harvest. Th tomatoes, and then I have watermelon back here, which I still have all these brown leaves on. I don't know if this is disease or just from the sun. I don't know if it's blight or something else, but I do have a watermelon on here. I'm thinking these, all these watermelon, I think there's three watermelon plants in here and they're all having some issues. So not sure what's going to happen with those. The grapes, of course, are looking amazing. They look amazing, but I don't actually have any grapes on them anymore, which is sad. If anybody knows when grapes usually set fruit, Leave that in the comments and let me know. Thanks for watching. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get notified when I post new videos.